Hello everybody, Levi Clay, back again for another edition of the Fretboard Diaries, also known as video responses that you didn't ask for. This time we're going to be addressing a great question over on the fretboard.co.uk, cool forum, recommend you check it out, there's a link to it below, good people over there, great place to get in on some discussion. So, not only is this a good response for you guys on the fretboard forums, but if you watch my channel and you're not familiar with that forum, go and check it out, join up and get to know some people. So, Here's that question. Guitar teachers, do you charge for no-shows? I'm getting a bit fed up with students booking a lesson and not showing up or cancelling last minute. Do any others charge for no-shows? Less than 48 hours cancellation. Um, and do they pay it slash would they? It's such a difficult question. The answer is obviously yes. Yes, you have to charge for no-shows. But the way you deal with it is the, the, the tricky part. Um, lots of people have pointed this out in the responses. The reason you have to charge for no-shows is quite simple. If you work for six hours a day, let's say as a teacher you don't want to teach more than six hours a day. When you're someone like myself where your time is in demand, when somebody books that hour slot, the chances are that you're going to have to turn someone away for that hour slot. Um, I mean, it might not be a regular occurrence, but the point is, if somebody books your time from 6 o'clock till 7 o'clock on Wednesday, and you prepare yourself for that lesson, you're then not able to take another student during that lesson. If the student gives me less than 24 hours notice that they can't make that lesson, unfortunately, I need to charge them for it because I can't fill that time now. I mean, I can do some transcribing in it or whatever, but the reality is, as a professional teacher that takes my students very seriously, their learning and development very seriously, I can guarantee that before your lesson has commenced, I've put a lot of time into the preparation of that lesson to make sure that you're getting content that's tailored to your specific needs. So the lesson has been prepared for. Uh, and, you know, if needs be, I'll, I'll still send the student the PDFs and say, get on with what you need to be getting on with. Here's the, the handouts for you. But you can't just not charge them for it unfortunately and it's a shame because i fully see the other perspective but it's important to remember that when you study with someone your teacher you have to give them respect you have to respect their time and when you book their time if you waste that time you need to pay for that time unfortunately because it's not just you you know that t teacher has several students many students and if you have uh, eight students booked in for a day and six of them don't show up that's awful like that's i can't pay my rent that i can't pay my mortgage levels of awful i don't do that much teaching anymore um this was one of the reasons i found it too frustrating the amount of no shows that i was getting and just having to deal with and this comes this is where you come into the shitty part of it it can really break relationships between between teachers and students because some students are just so adamant oh well you know something came up cool <laughs> I'm sorry, next time you have a lesson booked and something comes up for me, I'm just going to go off and do the thing that I had that came up and I'm still going to charge you for the lesson, okay? I'm, I'm sorry that you didn't get the lesson, but something came up. Like, it doesn't work like that. I understand there are things, you know, bereavements and stuff like that happen. Um, and I'm and I'm more than considerate in scenarios like that. But at the same time, I don't want you to take it as a given. If you need to cancel a lesson, I need 40, uh, 24 hours notice. And if I can't get that 24 hours notice, because I need to fill that time with other stuff. If I can't get that, I need to be paid for that time. I've got a student coming over in uh, 20 minutes time, actually. And he's had to bail on the last two lessons. So when he comes in the door, he knows that he'll be paying for three lessons for this one lesson, which is a, a shame. But at the same time, I last time he skipped the lesson, you know, it was the first time he'd ever done it. And after, uh, when I saw him next time, he paid me for that lesson. And I said, no, no, don't worry about it this first time because I'd not made a point of it. But just moving forward, this is the way things work if you miss a lesson uh, and don't give me notice or tell me on the day that you're not going to be able to make it um, that I'll have to charge you for it he said no no I insist that I pay you for last lesson because you're a professional and I value your time and I'm sorry I'm genuinely sorry that I wasted your time that day which is awesome those are the sorts of people that you want to deal with but unfortunately you will meet people that aren't that considerate mega shame mega mega shame but then that's why maybe you find yourself working better in a scenario where you work for somebody teaching work for a school when i taught for the north london music academy you know people cancel all the time but i didn't have to worry about it because 
the business side of things was being handled by somebody else. I just had to be the best teacher I could be. So it's a really, really tough one. And it can feel terrible, terrible to have that conversation. But the best way to deal with it, as pointed out, is let your students know your terms and conditions when you start. Um, I have it listed on my website. Let's have a look. So if we go over to my website under lessons, under information, uh, unfortunately, oh, move me out of the way. Unfortunately, due to the popularity of the service, lessons cancelled with less than 24 hours notice given will still be subject to the full lesson fee. Um, and just making sure that your students are aware of things like that uh, is the best way to deal with that. So it's it's a real difficult one. It's a horrible one and it's something that as a professional teacher you have to learn to deal with. But that's fine. You are a professional. Just keep being a professional um, and people will respect you like a professional. Cool. Hopefully that helped in some way, shape or form. If you have enjoyed this video, you can check me out on Patreon by clicking the button in the top left. You can subscribe to this channel by the button in the bottom left. There's also two of my videos that you can check out there and there. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, share this channel with your friends because your support is appreciated and I love making cool content for people that you enjoy. Uh, also drop me a comment. Anyway, peace out guys. Pleasure to serve and I'll be back for another video again soon. Bye.